Hey everybody, thank you for stopping back into the channel. My name is Zach, and you're watching Zach's Muscle Motors. I've got an exciting video for you tonight. Uh, it's a topic that might scare some people, but it's actually really easy. Don't let it worry you. Uh, also, if you haven't done so, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you know when more videos come out. Uh, what we got tonight is, if you don't remember, there's a video I have about bringing an LS motor home. It's a six liter. Uh, when we took that motor apart, three of the uh, exhaust manifold bolts broke off in the head, but that's okay. One of them was able to come right out there when I welded it out, and I thought, hey, a great opportunity for a video. So I'm going to show you how to use a welder and a simple nut to remove those broken bolts. So let's step over here to the welder, and I'll show you what we're going to do today. Okay, guys, before we get started, I just want to say I'm sorry. I don't have a cameraman, so I'm doing this on my own. I'm going to do the best that I can. Uh, if you look right here, I'll show you a close-up. This is one of the bolts that broke off in the cylinder head. Now, for some folks... That might really concern you. You might think, man, how the hell am I going to get that out of there? It's not that bad. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, again, I'm going to set this up the best I can, give you the best visual that I can uh, without having somebody actually hold the camera for me. So I do apologize for that, but it's not terrible. What we're going to do is we're going to take a nut. I've got one laying back here. We're going to hold it onto the surface there with a pair of pliers, and we're simply just going to use a MIG welder and throw a weld right there on what's left of that bolt. And it's not going to weld to the aluminum. It's going to weld right to the inside of the nut, and it's going to let us back it right out. So let me try to set this camera up, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, guys, I'm going to show you in real time just how easy this is. Again, if this is outside the vehicle, it's really easy. It's a piece of cake. Don't let it worry you. If it's still inside the vehicle, it can be done. It can be a little bit harder. Space is a little more cramped. But in most cases, it can still be done. Um, there's only a couple things you're going to need. A used nut you don't care about a pair of pliers of some kind. These are my MIG pliers. They work just fine. A brush, uh, if you want to clean up the um, what's left of the stud in there or the bolt in this case, uh, just to get a good clean welding surface. Uh, and if you don't have any anti-slag to spray on here, uh, sometimes you might need a little straight head screwdriver to kind of knock some of those pieces of slag off if they get stuck. You get a piece of molten metal out there and it'll stick to the head and just knock that off. Um, so that's basically it. So what we're going to do is take the nut, center it over the uh, the broken bolt inside the stud. I guess use my other hand here. We're going to center it over the uh, bolt that's in there, and we're going to tack it until we get the bolt tacked on. Hit it a couple more times with the welder just to make sure we got it good and stuck on there, and then we'll be able to back it right out with the ratchet. Okay. So let me show you. First thing, put your ground clamp on your head. Doesn't really matter where it'll get it, but the closer the better. Um, I'm not sure how well this is going to pick up on camera because I've not welded with this, uh, this setup before with this camera. So we'll do the best we can. We're going to use our pliers to hold the nut and then I'm going to tack it in there. That's really all it takes. So again, I don't know how that showed up. I guess I'll find out here in a minute when I start checking it out. The big thing is, if you noticed, I only hit it for just a moment at a time. The welder's turned up because I want good penetration on the bolt that's down there. Um, but I don't want to heat it up so much that the bolt melts. I'm not really worried about the head. The head's aluminum. It's going to displace the heat quickly. Uh, it won't be just a few moments after I pull this out that the head will pretty much be cold to the touch. It's that nut head you don't want to, to deal with and get a hold of. So now you just take your ratchet and I mean it's almost as if the bolt never had a problem to begin with. Like I said this is a common issue on aluminum heads. LS heads are really known for it. They use these thin shanks and the uh, the bolts will just break off when you try to remove them and that's it right there you can see maybe you can see where the weld grabbed a hold of it we got a uh, kind of penetration in the weld grab on all sides of the bolt that was left in there so overall that's really good 
That's all it takes. That's it. That's all there is to it. Take your wire brush, brush the outside off. That's not even hot. See that? When we got done with that, that was red hot. This head surface isn't hot at all. That's the difference. That's what, uh, not to go on this tangent, but that's part of the reason why aluminum heads are so much better for temperature control because they displace the heat so much quicker uh, with the coolant that's in them than cast iron heads do. So, and that's just proven right there. Molten hot, red hot metal that I wouldn't even touch right now compared to what we just welded on uh, was right there in the same temperature range and it's cold to the touch. So, I hope that helped. Uh, if you guys would, please, again, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Follow me on Zach's Muscle Motors on Facebook and Instagram. And um, I'm going to turn this video off. And uh, you guys take care. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.